Have you ever wanted to secretly take a screenshot of a Snapchat message or Instagram story without letting the other person know? Well, with Secret Screenshot, you can do just that. It pops up with a floating camera button and tapping it will capture the screen without letting other apps know. It's super undetectable and all these secret screenshots will be available to download within the app. Unfortunately, it still doesn't work on some privacy-driven apps like Netflix or some banking apps, but it still comes in handy for certain social media apps. Speaking of social media, short-form videos are a huge thing now. Shameless plug, I even joined the bandwagon uploading almost every day on TikTok and Instagram at HowToMen. Follow me there because I show off unique apps and give useful smartphone tips almost every day. But one of my biggest annoyances are the video ads shown every few swipes. They're really invasive. So what I did is I downloaded an app called Auto Scroll Ads to have these advertisements be automatically muted and scrolled away with. By simply tapping Auto Scroll's notification, the feature gets enabled, and it works with both Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. You just need to download these apps separately for each platform. By the way, if you're enjoying this quick style video of the best Android apps for March 2023, where I just jumped straight into the action, show me by giving this video a quick thumbs up. No more boring intro. I'm sure we've all been there where we needed to make a video presentation for our class or a job, and we had to do multiple takes since we kept messing up our lines. Well, with teleprompter for a video, you no longer need to memorize anything because it will display the words on the screen while it records your face. No one will ever know that you're reading a script since you'll be looking at the phone. It even supports voice recognition so that the lines will progress at your own speed. I will be honest though, the camera quality inside the app won't be as good as your main camera, but there is a workaround. A pro feature lets you have a floating teleprompter so that you can still record with your main camera app while you read the script, but it's locked behind a $12 in-app purchase. Google Maps is the GOAT, but it lacks a very important feature. It won't give you the fastest path when you start adding multiple stops. For example, if I just have one destination from the Empire State Building to another location like Chinatown, it will show me the fastest route. But then when I start to add even more addresses, Google Maps doesn't reorder them to obtain the quickest route. It will just keep piling everything up and make me drive all over the map. How annoying! So with a Chrome plugin called Rotura, it will automatically rearrange those stops to find me the quickest and fastest route, and then I can send that path to my phone. Saves a ton of time, gas, and headaches. Next, we have Super Image, an app that upscales and restores an image's detail by using AI. For example, it can upscale a 1080p image to 4K in a few minutes without losing any detail. Pretty incredible. I like to use it to turn my favorite wallpapers on my phone, which you can grab on my Patreon, into even bigger sizes to use on my laptop or desktop. And sure, there are other apps that do this, but almost none of them do it for free, and Super Image doesn't require you to sign up for anything. Plus, it's open source, so even more of a reason to give it a shot. Now, I always review smartphone apps, but rarely do I ever show off smartwatch apps. Like, check out this watch face called Concentric. It replicates the most popular watch face found on the Pixel Watch down to the same font. It may not be as smooth, but it is free and just as customizable. Another watch face that I really like and is made by the same developer is Vanishing Hour. It features a big number in the center, which is the current hour, and then it vanishes as the minute hand moves forward. It looks really beautiful, and I absolutely love the concept. Switching over to the games, Beat Runner is a music-fueled runner game. It's pretty cool because it lets you download any track off YouTube, and then the levels will start to build around the beat of the song. So every time you play a different song, you'll experience a whole new environment with different colors, shapes, and paths. It's really trippy and beautiful at the same time. The controls are also very straightforward. It's a simple one-tap control where you hold down the screen to start running and keep holding if you want to run even faster. Once you let go, your character jumps really high into the sky. That's how you make it across huge jumps. If you end up falling off the edge or running into a wall by jumping too high, you'll lose and have to start over unless you have revivals. And if you run until the song ends, that's how you win. It's that simple. 
Tesla Wars, and no, I'm not talking about the car, is a strategic tower defense game that gets chaotic and is very fun to play. It's also really easy to get the hang of. You just tap on each stick man running towards you to zap them and eventually kill them. Um, at first, it's really easy with just a few stick men attacking you, but once you start getting into the higher levels, that's when things start to get real intense. I'm talking about stick men shooting at your tower, giant tanks, flamethrowers, grenades, and larger armies. And you only have a certain amount of energy that you can use to electrocute your opponents. So you have to be very strategic and use it wisely. Otherwise, if you run out and your health gets to zero, it's pretty much game over. That's why upgrading your tower is so important. The only annoyance I have about the game though is that the energy and health does take time to regenerate after each match, so you can only play for a certain amount of time before needing to wait for them to refill up again. So I guess that is where they get you for in-app purchases. You're just so tired of waiting that you're like, screw it, just regenerate it already. Other than that, it's a fantastic game. Rhoda is another game that is simple to get the hang of, but really difficult to master. It's a 2D action platformer game where you must hop through different levels and reach the end point without getting hit by any obstacles or dangerous objects. Not gonna lie, it's a really satisfying game up until you reach the higher levels. That's when you need to time your jumps just right and hope you don't run into a razor or get shot by a gun. And trust me, you will die plenty of times before reaching the end of the levels. Luckily, there are checkpoints so you don't completely lose your sanity. And by the way, this isn't a long-term game. There are only 60 levels to play through, so you should be able to beat it in less than a month. It's completely free, has very few ads, and is a great time killer. Gloomgrave is the only game in this video with a price tag of $3.99. But sometimes you do have to pay something to get a good video game experience. And this one is on another level. In this game, you're dropped into a dungeon where you must find your way around, while killing monsters and searching for loot. What I love about Gloomgrave is how unique the graphics and game controls are. The immersive 3D roguelike controls are something that I've never seen before in my time of using an Android. And trust me, I've played many smartphone games in my time. It's probably not the most fun game that you'll ever play, but it's a great game to play while sitting on the toilet. Anyways, those are the best Android apps for March 2023. Here's last month's video if you wanna find even more amazing useful applications. I'll see you there. Also, I'll be sure to leave the Pixel 7 Pro within the YouTube product tag feature so that you can purchase it for yourself, sponsored by YouTube themselves. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!